All right, guys, let's go on an adventure. So we're outside now and I kind of want to mention two things before I kind of get to the point of this video and also explain what the hell I'm doing outside. But yeah, so one, I got an email this week earlier that codeschool.com, which is a pretty awesome resource for learning development, is having a free weekend. So if you are interested in checking that out, it's free this weekend from the 17th to the 20th, I believe. Um, so if you're watching this, like when this video goes up, November 17th to November 20th, 2017, Code School will be free that weekend. So check it out. I've worked through a couple of their courses, like their Angular 1 course and one of their Rails courses, and they're pretty good. They can be a little cheesy at times, but if you only have access to like free learning tools, it's a good way to get something that's a little bit more in depth something that people have to pay for usually. So I would check that out this weekend. So the second thing that I wanted to mention was that I'm filming this on the 15th. Is this the 15th? I don't even know what day it is. It's Wednesday. So I'm filming this on the 15th and I will be posting it on the 15th. So if you're watching this on November the 15th, 2017 or November the 16th before like five o'clock, then this message is for you. I'm planning on going live again Thursday, November the 16th at around 5 p.m. Eastern time. So if you wanna hang out, ask questions, just chill, chat. I'll be hosting it on YouTube, not Twitch yet. Still working the details out about what I'm gonna do on Twitch. November the 16th, five o'clock Eastern time. Come hang out. So what exactly am I doing filming outside and these trails? Well, first, I'm super lucky to have this kind of weird network of trails right down the street from my apartment that we can use and I can be outside and feel like I'm not in a city but in the woods somewhere. I decided to come out here and film today's video because I've been cooped up in the house a lot and the other day I had this idea. I got really stuck on this project I was trying to work on. I keep thinking I hear people come in and I'm embarrassed by filming, but it's really just like the wind blowing because I'm in the woods, right? Anyways, I was working on this project and I got stuck and this is a common thing when you're a developer. And I come from a world where I'm a writer, so I am used to trying to push through writer's block. That's the best advice you can give somebody who has writer's block is to just kind of keep pushing through and write whatever's in your mind even if it's nonsensical. But that doesn't exactly work for development. There's a certain amount of push that you need to have. You don't want to give up on a problem as soon as you reach it. There are also steps that you can take to kind of help yourself out when you get stuck in the development world. This advice includes all of the super common advice that you normally get. Go check all of the documentation out that they have. Go to Stack Overflow and Google and Google and Google some more, right? What is it that you do if that's not enough, right? You've Googled until your fingers are bleeding. You're 37 Stack Overflow questions deep and they all seemed promising and none of them exactly fixed your problem. And the technology that you're working on documentation sucks or it doesn't have the answer to the problem that you're currently having. What do you do? If you don't have a team around you, you're not working at a job, you're working on like a personal project or something for your portfolio, where do you turn for help? Or how do you get unstuck from a problem? Somewhere over in that region, there's a dog who's super pissed off at my presence and won't stop barking every time I walk over here. I've been there, believe me, I've been there. I've hit, you know, hard refresh on the same page 437 times while not changing a single line of code or taking away a semicolon or throwing semicolons in places I know they don't go just to try to get my code to work and it's super frustrating. And sometimes there feels like there is no way out of that loop. This dog really hates me. This is where I think community and networking come into play big times. If you have a relationship with somebody in the community for the technology you're working with, or if you're a part of a community for that technology, say like a Slack or a Discord channel, or you're part of a Reddit community, then I would reach out to those people 
and see if they can't help you. Also, don't be afraid to post your own Stack Overflow questions. That's what Stack Overflow is for. And if the question's already been answered and you haven't found the answer to it, somebody will either, you know, nicely or slightly passive aggressively point out that there's an answer for it already. That's what that community is for. You don't just have to go there to find answered questions. I've posted on Stack Overflow before and there's usually a response within like an hour or two, which can be a long time if you're trying to solve this one particular problem, but it's better than nothing. I've also had success finding answers for JavaScript problems on Reddit and the Reddit subforums for whatever like particular flavor of JavaScript I'm working with for that day. And so I would check that out and post questions on there if that's what that particular subreddit is used for to answer questions and to help people out. Let me get out of the light because I'm gonna be ghost staring for a while. And right around this corner, I should be unghosted. And then I have another technique, and it's not necessarily to solve the problem, although for some reason it does seem to help me solve problems when I can't find a solution any other way. And it's the reason why I'm out here right now. It's to take a break. Close your computer, pop in headphones if you like to listen to music. I listen to music the entire time I code, but I listen to different music if I'm not coding, but thinking about coding problems or trying to get my brain out of that world. So close your computer, put on music. My personal flavor of choice when it comes to the music I wanna to listen to when I'm trying to figure something out is like really loud, aggressive, like gangster rap. I don't know why, but it just like makes my brain click. So I'll throw that on and I'll go take a walk. And I would just try to clear my brain of that problem. Try to think about anything else in the world except for that problem. And for some reason, and I don't know why, I can't explain this phenomenon, but sometimes when I do that, I come back to my computer or I don't even get to my computer. I get halfway to the place I wanted to walk and it comes to me. And I don't know why that is and I don't know that there's any scientific research behind it and it may not work for you and it may not work every time, but shutting your brain off from that problem and not thinking about it sometimes sheds light on the simple thing that you've been missing because you're sure it's correct the whole time. And taking your brain out of that mode is a way for you to come to grips with the simple and the subconscious part of your brain to like work it out. And sometimes that can work. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds wild. I know that I'm out in the middle of the woods right now and you know, there's not a lot of technology around here, but sometimes removing yourself from the situation can help you out a lot. Also, we get cooped up in offices or apartments all day. And sometimes just walking around, getting your blood flowing, getting fresh air can help a lot when it comes to, you know, the way that you feel, your mentality, and all of that stuff. So there's no reason to kind of beat your head against the wall tackling this problem that you can't solve at that moment. My personal rule of thumb is that if I'm like not figuring out a problem, especially if it's super simple, for like 30 minutes, I try to take a break and I try to walk around a little bit, maybe not outside, just around the office or around the apartment, and then I come back to it kind of free conscious like you know just not thinking about it for a little bit and then I try to come back to it and it seems to kind of kickstart my like programming juices to be able to get to the point that I need to be to be able to fix this issue. I'm sure you guys have run into your own issues while you've been trying to build out projects on your own or for the company you're working for or for whatever and if you have any other techniques when it comes to figuring out these issues please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'm always open to suggestions. I love hearing about different people's techniques for overcoming that like mental block when it comes to development. That's all I've got today. I'm gonna keep walking around these trails a little bit and annoy this dog a little bit more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that thumbs up button because they are super awesome and they make me smile. I hope to see you guys tomorrow if you're watching this video as it comes out in the live stream. If you wanna keep following along in the journey, you know where the subscribe button is, go ahead and hit it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Bye. I've made another dog angry. There's two of them barking at me now.